So now it's late afternoon and I thought I have to get up from my sleep now because I've been in bed for far too long and I get back pain. The trouble is getting out of bed has always been a problem with me as much as it is getting into the bed. I had a look at the mask I made for production and meaning and I thought how can I actually get graded for something like this? It's completely random and strange but if I can that's wonderful so I thought I'd carefully move it to the side because my next problem is I don't actually like walking out of doors. I don't mind walking into them but I don't like walking out of them so I tend to climb out of my window but I always seem to fall on my flat on my face which is a bit of a pain to be honest. But I suppose at the end of the day, whatever makes you fall down only makes you stronger as a person, so I don't really mind, and if anyone sees me, I don't really give a damn, so I just get up and carry on walking. My intention now is to walk to the library, because I really have to do some work, and it really needs to be done. I always leave things at the last minute, but I don't know why, I always get distracted by making stupid little films. Sometimes I go really far out my way and actually fix things on my car that don't need fixing, or just replace them for the fest sake of it, because I just don't want to do my work. It's not all so bad, though, because I'm definitely not the only one. I mean, look at him, what's he doing? He should, he should be working. That's definitely Mark Winnett, obviously, because he's obsessed with wolves. I think the main problem with drama students, particularly people like me, is we have a short attention span. I don't think dyslexia has anything to do with it, or maybe it does, I don't know. All I know is that dyslexia is a pain in the backside. That was a ball in my face, which eventually Izzy managed to get hold of, and Pete wanted it back. Pete is a drama student as well, he made a big thing out of it. I couldn't find my shoes in the end, so I ended up wearing sandals, which was a bit of a strange experience, because it made me feel like Jesus Christ, even though I'm not religious in any way. I ended up outside the pear tree, which is the student union, and I thought to myself, what a terrible place. So bland and boring, I mean, why not- Ow! hit in the face with that damn blue ball again. It just seems like the most pointless place. Compared to the old design of how it used to be, they've only got two pool tables instead of five. They've got a stupid little jukebox in the corner which no one uses because it's horrendously overpriced and also they're always playing stupid music over the speakers anyway which isn't even in sync with the videos on the screen. Now please, if anyone can answer me this, this is supposed to be a green university, am I right? Then how come even at three o'clock in the morning the student union is still open even though the doors are locked and the screens are still being used? What's the point in that? All the electricity is being used and no one's even in there. Anyway, outside, what a beautiful day it was. I actually saw Pete Coxhead again so you can I thought he'd run over and give me a high five, the trouble is Pete is not very well balanced and he always falls over. Down he goes like the feedback I get on my essays. The trouble I get from my lecturers is they say I never reference things, but sometimes it's just come out of my own mind. How am I supposed to reference myself? Just say, it was my own work, get used to it. I really hate doing essays, they're the most horrible thing on earth, and people always say to me, oh they're not that hard, you know, it's only 1500 words, I'll try doing it when you're dyslexic. As I ended up walking down to the library, I was really thinking how much I really do hate doing essays, and sometimes I contemplate, why am I even here? I mean, I really like working in the garage on the old cars, but no, I have so much fun here, and I really am enjoying myself and I love all the people here, it's great fun. But sadly, as we all know, it's not all fun and games. I mean, most people take off steam by going to nightclubs. I bet these people walking past me going to nightclubs, look at them go. I absolutely hate nightclubs. What a terrible place to go, particularly trams. I mean, why call it trams? Well, I suppose I know why they call it trams, because it's a terrible place. Whenever I go to a nightclub, which is a very rare occasion, I always feel inclined to go, and in the end, I always think, I've paid to be somewhere I really don't want to be. Who knows what goes on in the head of Peter Cox's head? Even though me and Peter are very different people, he actually hates nightclubs as well. So if anyone's going clubbing, please don't invite me, because I really. Ah, oh, damn ball. I really don't want to go. I'd rather go to a 1920s uh, jazz bar or something. There's Pete Cox's head again. I wonder what he's thinking. Ha, <laughs> that book looks like it spouse animals. As I was walking along, I was looking at the books, and I saw Mark winning, and I thought, I wonder what he's thinking. Why are all these books about history? I wonder what's in this one. Is it porn? I hope it's porn. I'm looking for porn. Oh, there's no naked ladies in here. Oh, what the hell? Oh, back you go. Ah, who knows? He's probably thinking about something about Doctor Who. So now it's time to actually locate a computer in the library. And this is something I hate to do, because you always end up sitting next to someone you don't know. And you think, could they be the one that stabs me seven times in the face? It's unlikely, I know. You're probably more likely to stab them seven times in the face, but it's always a precaution. Has anyone actually noticed that it takes an incredibly painfully long time for the computer to actually log in in the library? Yeah? And for some reason, you actually end up looking at the loading screen. Anything could be going on around you, and you wouldn't even know, because you're just looking at a loading screen. Windows is starting up. The trouble with me is, the second it's loaded up, I actually want to turn it off again, because I think, I really don't want to do my work. I hate doing work. I particularly hate working in the library, just because the atmosphere is so, sort of that rustly sort of sound of background murmuring and talking, because people are trying to be quiet. In the end, I decided to leave because I just hated it. I thought I was shouting out loud. Why don't you just talk at normal volume? Because it's just as loud anyway because everyone's being quiet. Because I can hear the person across the hall talking about the time they had a good bowel movement, for goodness sake. That reminds me, never ever use the toilets in the library. They're absolutely disgusting. As I walked upstairs, I saw these signs for these plays and books and things or films, whatever they are. I don't know. But all it made me think was how much I really don't like Shakespeare. It just doesn't make sense. You might as well speak a different language. I know people say, oh, you should analyze the text. It's really artistic. But I really don't care. I'm much of a more of a fan of the Avengers. Marvel Comics, that's real reading. I know looking at this thing and thinking, what the hell is it? It's just here simply to be artistic. It doesn't mean anything. It's just the universe thing. Look how artistic we are. As you can probably tell right now, I was in a bit of bad mood, so I thought to myself, I'm just going to leave this building right now, because if I walk downstairs, I might go past people that actually like reading books, and I just want to shout at them and say, have you ever heard of a DVD? It's so much easier to watch, apart from foreign ones that have subtitles. I absolutely hate that. And I know the university is going to be full of people that actually do like reading books, but I'm going to say, once more, this lecture, I can't read books, because I have such a short attention span, and I just don't have the time for them. Well, I do have the time, I just don't give the time. Oh, if I could read well, I probably would. 
But that's missing the point completely, there's no point of saying ifs and but, or maybe you should try this because end off, full stop, I don't care, I just wanted to go in the lift to have some solid solitary confinement. I'm blooming well beginning to stutter now and getting so wound up about the whole matter. So anyway, it turns out the one place I might be able to get some privacy apart from the toilets which smell absolutely disgusting was the lift, but look, the blooming wolf standing in there, that's so annoying, I was actually pretty annoyed but I mean I might have said, haha that's really funny, well done, but I just wasn't in the mood about it, so I just thought, forget it, I'm just going to walk away and just leave this building and not talk to anyone. So once again I embrace the stairs going down, looking at the pictures, just thinking to myself, just ignore it, just ignore it, assume you can get back and play Age, Age of Empires 3, even though I don't actually have that disc with me, but that's a really good game, although some people don't like it. I managed to acquire that blue ball that had been thrown at me all day, so this was a small victory for me. Little did I know that Pete Cox had really wanted his ball back, so he came out running after me and I thought to myself, I'm not going to give this up without a fight, as if people know, I was pretty ticked off at this point anyway. After I punched him in the face, I thought to myself, oh, I really shouldn't have done that, I don't want to get on the wrong side of him. Particularly since that's a smelly side, and I reckon he's the culprit that made the library toilet smell really bad. By the way, can you see the guy in the background doing Tai Chi? Even more so, he's doing Tai Chi in that area outside the SU that no one ever uses. As I ended up back at Channel Hall after my long day of productive work, haha, <laughs> not really, in fact I was in a very bad mood, so time to go to bed I reckon. Believe it or not, but this ant spider and silverfish infested hellhole is actually a bit of a tranquility of mine. But then this happened. Oi! Oh! Stop throwing that ball at me! What? No! I've had enough of this! No! I'll piss off! So there you go, no matter where you are on campus, you always get people like this. I reckon you get them in all the accommodation, even Platinum Plus, the only exception is they're wearing tuxedos. Incidentally, they're changing all the names of the accommodation, even Chandler Bronze, and they're changing it to traditional. Let's face the facts, why don't they just call it the Bomb Shelter, or something far worse? At this moment of time, I really couldn't care less. I was wet and I was cold and I was in a bad mood anyway, and it just got worse. I didn't care about going to bed wet, but the trouble was I had to go to bed, and we all know what happens then. <laughs> That's all right for you. That's all right, Mama. Just any way you do. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right.